Welcome to Zamora Gaming Fans. I'm your host, Joe Zamora here. And look at this. We're going to get some voice voice acting here in this Pokemon game. Let's see. Let's go with this one. A little more of our color tone. And we're going to go with uh, this Joe. Oh, wait. No, that's me. Yep, that's me. Let's get started. <laughs> yes, I'm white. Yeah, not color, not color wise. Here we go, guys. Brand new game. Let's get it. Wolfnizer, thank you for hosting the stream. Oh, that's a that's a good dogo. Here we go. I'm gonna turn up the game volume just a little bit so y'all can hear the voices. Oh well, I guess that was voices for a minute. Chicken Will, what's up, man? Hi there, I'm glad you made it. Welcome to the laboratory of ecology ecology and natural science. Jeez, or lens for short. My name is Mirror. The fuck kind of name is that? I'm researching Pokemon in their natural environment. Here on Florio Island. Yeah, and that's not all. The professor's gonna study every single island here in the lentil region. No one's ever done an ecological survey like this before it's gonna be amazing they broke the tree train and went with mirror for real dude it's weird no one aren't you forgetting a certain explorer oops good point you've read the stories of captain vince haven't you no i haven't but even counting him professor you're surveying your survey is gonna be the first kind first of its kind in a hundred years that's awesome well thank you this is Rita. Her parents are good friends of mine. She's here on vacation while her school's on break. I'm not just here to goof off, Professor. I'm here to research. I'm your research assistant. Ah, yes, that's right. And I appreciate the help. Now, before we go over what you'll be doing in this program, why don't you step into the lab and to get settled? Right. You are, Professor. I'll lead the way. Okay. I guess they just like to be really close. Or are we short or something in this game? Jesus. Alright, allow me to explain. The lentil region is absolutely teeming with Pokemon. Photo photographing those Pokemon will help us learn more about them and their ecosystem. And that's exactly what you're here to do. All my work for me, so I don't have to do it myself. At night, you might even get to see glowing Pokemon. They're really pretty. Now, without further ado, here's your research camera. Yeah, definitely short. It seems like it. I've got the same one. We can use them to communicate with each other and the rest of the team, too. That's right. It's more than just a camera. It lets you keep in touch and analyze data on the fly. It'll also serve as a sort of ID badge for you here. So take good care of it. Can we just get started already? Remember in Pokemon X and Y when you watched the fireworks with one of the female friend, main friends and you got the TM Protect afterwards? Yeah, I do remember that. Are you saying we're gonna, you need to protect for that girl or, that, or what? Awesome, right? The professor invented it. Can I explain how to use a professor? I Hurry up. Sure thing, Rita. Assist away. I'll go take care of some other preparation. Alright, come on. Let's go outside. <laughs> Alright, tutorials are based on default buttons. Let's see. Ah, perfect timing. Yeah, bitch, I got it. I know how to work the camera. Oh, 
I know how to do it. We learned this in Pokemon Sun and Moon. Right. Has to be Pikachu, the first one. Uh, I zoom in all the time when I send dick pics. <laughs> Gotta make it look nice and big, right? Hmm. Oh, getting the hang of the research camera. Now then, I'll evaluate the photos you took. Would you mind choosing one shot of each Pokemon you photograph? I'll rate them using my special scoring system. Pick whichever shots you think are best. So Pikachu folder. Go with No. Oh well, fuck it. That works for me. Starting with photo number one. I'm sure y'all didn't have Pikachu. Already lined up in y'all's information thing. I came up with a system to help us understand and categorize how Pokemon behave. Photos of Pokemon in an ordinary state get fewer stars. More unusual behavior means more stars. Simple enough, right? To be clear, the number of stars a photo receives doesn't affect its score. Every category is important. Everything does look great. By the way, the camera keeps logs of what was happening when you took each photo. That data helps me categorize your photos. Let's move on to the scoring. First, I'll evaluate the subject pose. Snapping your photo at just the right moment is key to get a high post score. Now on those factors, uh, size is straightforward. The larger your Pokemon appears in the photo, the better. Then there's the direction the Pokemon is facing. Try to get it facing you in your photo. Next is placement. Try to get the Pokemon in the center of the frame, balanced pose. Uh, finally, you'll get bonus points if other Pokemon are in the photo with your subject Pokemon. Now, I know that was a lot of info all at once. Let me boil it down. Remember this and you'll do fine. Get the Pokemon nice and big in the center of the frame to snap the shutter. With all that in mind, here's your evaluation. Fuck, dude. Can you shut up? Look. Looking good. Hard to believe you're a beginner. Alright, cool. Well, that's fine with me. Next is Pavilion, a new addition to our research. I see it's in flight. Nice going. This isn't ba a bad shot at all. Remember, getting the whole Pokemon in the frame looks nice and big is key to the good size score. Okay, whatever. Can I just go snap pictures of Pokemon now? It's not that. It's not that deep, sir. What did you think? Once you get your photos evaluated, you can use them to fill out your very own Pokemon photo decks. That will be a great milestone to work towards. That about does it. I think it's time you set off on your own adventure. Y yeah? Big and centered. Like my dude! Alright, um, that should about do it. See this pod? It'll carry you on your photograph. Photography expeditions. Jesus Christ. Okay, it's called Neo One. So it's Okay. It's the best. I it can teleport to far places in no time flat. I finally put the finishing touches on it not long ago with a little help from someone I know. 
You see, it makes use of energy hotspots. I don't care. Come on, Professor. The details can wait. There you go. Fair enough. Let's get you moving. Climb on in. Touch your camera to the console. And let's get the fuck out of here and take in some actual pictures of cool Pokemon. Hey, I'm in a Pokeball. Holy shit. You can take up to 72 photos per research expedition unless your first time on a course. Your expedition will end when your photo memory reaches zero. Be sure to take only good pictures. Alright guys, let's do this. Here we are. Oh, Dodrio got up. Oh, that would have been cool to get. Oh, I missed the action shot. So many things to look at. There's a Pikachu in the background. I didn't see it. What is that? Uh, I'm gonna take a picture of that just to be safe. Alright, let's see here. They're all posed beautifully. Peach. Oh, Grookey! Damn it. There's Pichu. Get out of the grass. Oh, he would turn away. But do. All right, they're picking on him over there. That's just a worm pool again. Damn, that wasn't a good photo. <clears throat> Why am I having so much trouble with this? Get out of the way. Damn it. Oh, I didn't get it waving. Shit. That would have been sick. Got that. That works. Funny flowers. Already, I tried Chicken Will, the jumping magic cart. Zach, welcome to the stream. Just playing some Pokemon Snap. 
Now, just like before, it's time to show me some photos you took. Go ahead and choose the photo per Pokemon that you want to use. Let's see. Let's look at Dodrio. Should we do first, second, or third? I think the third one, maybe. Because it has the Bidoof, like, praising it. Like, oh my god, it's the Dodrio. This one's cool, too, though. All right, two it is. All right, Vivillion. We'll go two as well. That's the only one we have of that. Should we do the tree worm pool or the first worm pool here? <laughs> is one better or two? All right, floor G's. We only took one picture of that. Swana. We have the flying Swana or or the drinking water Swana. One or two. I I think next time I'm just gonna take like rapid fire photos so we can try to get some cool ones. They're not facing us, so I don't think it's gonna get a big score. Let's just do this one since it's facing us a little bit more. All right, tail low. I'm going to do the three posed. That one looks cool. All right. I'm going to get the Bidoof's looking up. And Pichu, I guess. That's the only one we took. And this one's probably the best one. So, let's go ahead and show the professor. Alright, let's have a look. It's Dodrio, a new addition to our research. Alright, we got a good score on the pose. What do you mean no background, dude? Look at all the buffalon back there. I think the background was awesome. Fuck you. So we added Odrio. Now we uh, replaced Vavillion. This will probably be a better picture. Oh yeah. Better. Way better. Alright. What else do we got? Buffalon. Not the best picture. Oh yeah, the size isn't going to be great. You had me far away from him. And then we got Wormple. Perfect placement. I think that's the most you can get is a thousand in, in each category. <clears throat> oh no, you get over a thousand. All right, Swana. A silver star. So I guess silver star is good, but not perfect. And as long as we get a gold star, I think we should be fine with that Pokemon picture. Is that a bronze? Come on, man. All right, the god of Pokemon here. Gold star. Beautiful. Alright, now Peachy's turn. A gold star again. So I guess we're good with that. What's your line? Ooh, comfy. Gold star. I'll take gold stars all day. Give me that.
So, what did you think? Our last thing, let me tell you about research levels. Your research level on a course tells me how much progress you've made there. Once that level goes up, you may see Pokemon behave in ways you haven't seen before. The key to raising your research level is to observe all types of Pokemon's behaviors. That means getting photographs of them in every category from 1 star to 4 star. So in this short, fill up the Pokedex, keep that in mind, and you'll be on, right on track. So get out there and snap lots of photos and cherish the encounters with Pokemon you have along the way. Oh, well. I mean, look at them. They're just like, oh, Great work researching the new site. I hope your trip... I hope your next trip goes just as well. Oh, you know it will. Photo program newbie. Okay. Smack dab in the middle. Alright. I guess those are achievements we get. Save photos to album. After you research... After your research trips, you can choose photos to save to your album, which is in your space in the lab. You can also choose resnap to make them change, make some changes to photos before you save them. Oh, okay. So these are the ones where you can like edit now. Let's do a resnap. Let's do. Where's one that's looking towards? Okay, no. None of them are looking towards us. Damn. Okay. Oh, okay. So, you have to use the other stuff to... There we go. Now, quit resnap. I already took the next picture. Right. Did I not do it? Joey Lama, welcome. Thank you for hosting. I feel like this is going to be important later. But, I'm going to go ahead and save the ones that we got stars on. And uh, I'll try to figure out how to do the resnap thing later, because it, it's not making much sense. But, good enough for me. Alright, let's see here. So, Comfy with the gold star. And Flora G's with the gold star. Now, I guess we just back out now? I think that's how it works. If not, then oh well, we can take more pictures. Landscape photos can be taken by Rita. Can be uh, Landscape photos taken by Rita can be seen in the lab. They don't appear to be photos of lentil, but it's not clear where exactly they were taken. Okay. That covers just about everything. Can we go on a nighttime photo shoot later? Not yet, but soon. After a little more practice. By the way, don't forget you can come back to the lab and take a look at your photo, uh, photo decks anytime. I'll explain more about that when we stop by the lab. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. Go have a good time and snap some photos. Hey, Justin, look at that. You're getting hype over there. All right, let's go ahead and go to the lab, I guess. That's what they wanted us to do. This is Professor's lab. Not that it's your not that it's your first time here, of course. This is where the professor does his research and works on mechanical stuff. In fact, he's pretty much lives here. Anyway, let me give you a quick rundown of what you can do here. The server over there is where we store our research work. There are a few things you can do with all that data. First, you can check your photo decks. That's the encyclopedic record you building you're building <laughs> with the photos you're taking 
Isn't it cool getting to put together your own photo decks? Next, there's your space. That's where you can see your personal photo album and adventure milestones. Your album is for photos you want to keep but not put in your photo decks. You can edit your album photo in some cool ways too. Hmm, am I forgetting anything? Hey professor, was there anything else I was supposed to mention? Did you cover what we can do in the internet? Oh yeah, that's what it was. If you use the online internet feature, you can see photos from players all around the world. If you really like a photo, you can tell the photographer nice job by giving the photo a little digital medal. They're called sweet medals. Okay, Jesus Christ. Don't be shy, try everything out. That's way too much reading for a photo game. Let's go take some photography. An adventurer who explores the island in the lentil region. Okay, or just don't let me read that. Let's go do... Let's do... You know what, let's do Pokemon. That's what we're here for. Show me a photo of Pokemon to make a page for it. On the page, you can move your pointer over the Pokemon and press A. To see its movement and hear its cry... If you discover its other forms, you'll be able to see those here too. I'm not here to photo edit. I want to take pictures. Various Pokemon freely come and go at the laboratory of Igalala. Stoutland and Nano are likely friendly companions to Professor Mirror. Let's go do some research. That's what we're here for. That was an Eevee on the port. Oh, look, it's still there. Are you headed out to another expedition already? Yes, dude. Before you go, let me tell you one more thing you can do. Oh, my fucking gosh. You can run a scan. That'll give you details about your surroundings. It tells you about nearby Pokemon, points out anything unusual. Professor, what counts as unusual? You've never given me a solid answer. Basically, anything that makes the other system go is check this out. Well, I guess that is, that's all the details we're going to get. You'll get the hang of it once you try. Rita, would you mind demonstrating? I don't need a demonstration. <sighs> yes, I know. Yeah. Yeah, what about it? Okay. Oh my god. Can it cover everything? Because good lord, I'm here to play the game. Here we go, finally. Well, Park Day is the only place we can go so far. So that's where we're going to take the pictures at. Is it the same thing? There we go.
thought there was something over there. To be or not to be. Alright, then we got a better picture of the swan of that time. Yeah, leaping magic card. Oh, it's flying away. Ooh, that's a good picture. Damn, should have took a picture of that. I think that was a hoot hoot sleeping in the tree. There we go, we got it waving. Come on, Floor, just do something. That's the second time I didn't get a Moga. He just kind of souped across the, the screen. Alright, Professor. I took more photos this time. Yeah, not gonna do those. This one works. I do that one. I want to do this one right here. Boom. That one's cool. I like that one. That one's better than the other one. That's a hoot hoot though. Why is it in the Tello slot? Oh, because Tello's right there on the side. All right, there we go. We'll just do those. All right, so we got a two-star Pichu one. Hell yeah. We got a, another group, we got Grookey. Okay, so we got a better floor just one this time around. Oh, is that a platinum star? Holy crap. Alright, so let's see. 
No, I think we're going to keep the old swan a picture. I could have swore it would get more points, though. Ooh, we got a two-star Magikarp, I guess because it's in the action pose. Ooh, three-star because we got it waving. Look at that. We're not bad at all. And we should be a level two now. Whoop, whoop. Another step forward for art research. I bet Pokemon in the area are getting comfortable with you. I hope so. You got a score of a thousand points or more. Oh yeah, so we get achievements too. By the way, thanks for the progress you've made in your research. I've got something to report. I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away. I think you'll be pleased to hear this. Definitely saving the Swana photo though. I'm getting there. Uh, saving that. I'll save that as well. I'm saving this one. I like this one. Alright, let's re-snap. Oh, wait, no. Yeah, I don't need a resnap. Alright, save. Okay, I think that's it. Do we just back out now? Okay. Return to camp. A book chronologically, chronologically, chronicling the voyage of Captain Vince to the island of Lentil around 100 years ago is it contains entries about the Illuminia Pokemon. Okay, doesn't give you enough time to read it all. Your photography seems to be going well. I think you're able, you're about ready for a nighttime visit to the Florio na Nature Park. Hopefully you'll get to see one of the Lentil greatest wonders, a, gl a glow called the Illumina Phenomenon. You're the one who discovered that... You're the one who discovered how that glow happens, right, Professor? Yes, I am, but explaining the process scientifically was just one step toward my ultimate goal. Finding the special Pokemon spoken of in Legends of Lentil. You might... You mean the Illumina Pokemon? Uh, I thought they were made up. No, they're very much real. You've seen the photos from Captain Vince's travel log, haven't you? What? You can barely tell what's in those photos. And they're ancient anyway, literally a hundred years old. Well, we can discuss that later. For now, enjoy your nighttime outing. Oh, I'm going on the nighttime outing now. Alright, nighttime. Nighttime Pokemon. It's the same area, though. Got the sleeping Pokemon right there. Damn it. Almost got Pidgeot. That was probably a better one. Caterpie.
Got him. Nighttime, it looks glows more. Whoa, what is that? What's that flying? I think it was a swana. There we go. Whoa, Torterra! That was a good one. Ooh, that one's a better Torterra one. I think we're doing better with the night snaps. Fuck, I missed the combi. We got it. Ooh, the crystal bloom again. Hey, All right. I think that was pretty successful. Getting the hang of this game. How many adventures have you done in the night already? We've got a lot to discuss, but first let's get your photos evaluated. Let's see. We got the Buffalant picture. Definitely using this one. I guess we'll do this one for Score Bunny. Uh, Badoof. Eh. Pidgey, though. Let's get that one. Yeah, I know. I'm gonna go for the two stars first. Ooh, a three star! Trying to get that three star. Crystal Bloom, okay, now they finally like, oh, take a picture of it. So I'm going to get the two-star Torterra. This was certainly the best picture. I'm going to use that for the three-star. Pinsir. I'm going to go with this one. And Combi, I'm going to get that two-star. He's like, oh, shit. He was like, was it me? That's fine. I'm just going to go with those. Did I not select the Murkrow? Oh, no. Sheesh. Time to check out these photos. I'll take it. I thought I did. I thought I selected that picture. Well, that's whack. 
Score Bunny was too fast. He didn't let me take a good picture of him. <clears throat> I'll take it. Bronze? That's a good ass photo of Caterpie. I don't know what you mean. I like gold stars. Whatever. So are those actual special stars that I, I'm talking about, or is it just silver? I think it's just silver. Oh, there we go with the Torterra. Dang, silver for that? Come on, man. I felt like we did a lot better on these pictures than he's saying we did. Oh, but that's a gold star? Go fuck yourself. Crystal Bloom. Yeah, that should be gold. Oh, I guess it just documents it. Jeez! We almost made it. And we get as big as possible. Heck yeah, I'll take it. By the way, thanks for the progress you've made for researching. Of course, as always. Let's go ahead and return to camp. We'll edit pictures later. Professor Mears' personal lab at the Laboratory of Ecology. Ecology? I don't know why I keep saying ecology. And natural science. There you can access photos and whatever. Oh shit, what was that? Something incredible has happened. Here, take a look at this. It's all good, Justin. We'll get it next time. When you got near that field of flowers. I picked up an incredibly strong reading. Its source seems to be moving too, if only slightly, which suggests that we've got we've got here is an Illumina Pokemon. We can't be sure yet, but I suspect so. I wonder why it showed up. Did you do anything special? I also doubt that it appeared when you when it did by chance. So I think you should be the one to investigate the area where the reading is coming from. Oh, I want to go see two. You can watch through the monitor with me, Rita. You're not as important, clearly. Please head out as soon as you are ready. You know I will. I'm ready to go now. All right, Illumina spot. Let's let's see what we can find here. I don't know what we're looking for, but we're looking for something. Whew! Well, how's everyone's day going? Hopefully, I'm doing fan freaking tastic. Yo, mama. Take a picture. Take a picture. Take a picture. Whoa, what is that? Meganium? Oh yeah, it's Meganium. <laughs> um, that's something you want to take a picture of, dude. What are you doing?
Come on, look at me. All these pictures I'm taking, we can only keep one. <laughs> oh, there we go. Sassy, sassy, sexy, look at me. Work it, walk it, walk it. You're fired! It's like, and the energy reading is gone too. Takes no pictures. The fuck, dude? The only reason you were supposed to go out there is to take pictures. We've got a lot to discuss, but first, let's get your Pokemon evaluated. Alright, so we're going to choose one of these bad boys. I guess we can only choose one of the things that... I guess these are too good to use? That makes no sense. Um, let's see. Which one do we want to use? Out of all of them, I can only use that one? That's whack, dude. But I'm going to go with this one. Alright. And we'll go with this. Oh, you know what? I think that's what happened last time. I accidentally pushed the button twice. There we go. Aluminum spot. Only silver? Well, if you let me use my other one, so I could have got a better shot. Uh, let's use this one. Only because it looks cool. Oh, I have a diamond looking star on one of my yeah dude I, I figured there's a diamond star yeah I have I have a bunch they're not silver you can tell silver I'll show you all right we got the pose we got meganium with gentle wonder by the way now that we've got that alumina Pokemon info I've got something to report I'll fill you in once your photos are squared away and blah, 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 blah. All right. So, save photos to album. See, Steven, check it out. I have this one. Look at the stars. They're, they're diamond colored. <laughs> yeah, right? No, I'm not saving that. Okay. Oh, no! Save photos. I, I wanted some of those better ones that they didn't let us use. Like this one. That one's cool. I like that one. Let's see. Meganium. No. This one. This one. Alright, and... Vakit, Vakit, yas. Vati, Vati, Saxi. And now we can return to camp. A camera developed by Professor Mir for research Pokemon. It's linked to the Neo One. Allowing you to use the camera to access the vehicle's different features. The camera can transmit and analyze data, and it even serves as a high tech ID card. Vocket, Vocket. <laughs> yes, you're back! 
That was amazing, right? Wasn't it gorgeous? Wasn't it huge? That's what she said. And wasn't it saying something? Easy there, Rita. Take a deep breath. No shit. Look who's talking. You are practically dancing, Professor. <laughs> Moving on. There's no doubt about it. That Meganium was an Illumina Pokemon. Just like in the Legends. Remind me what the Legend says about Illumina Pokemon again, Professor. Didn't they supposedly save Lentil from a huge disaster a long time ago or something? So the story goes, yes. Illuminia Pokemon are also said to have distinctive patterns and to glow with unusual light. Sounds like our new friend. Yes, to the letter. I'm convinced the events in those legends really did happen. And discovering the true history of this region could be the key to opening up all our research. Hang on, wasn't there one more important thing you wanted to, you were going to mention, Professor? That's alright, it's pretty late. Let's pick up the conversation from here tomorrow. Oh, more reading? Do I get extra credit for this? Good morning. Did you manage to get some sleep? Now, as Rita already told you, I've been preparing to launch an ecological survey spanning the entire lentil region. And no sooner had you arrived than we suddenly found an Illumina Pokemon. You think there's a connection, Professor? Of course, he's the main character. I can't be sure yet. But fascinating things are bound to happen if you come with us. I got it, Chicken Will. Sorry, I read your thing late. Really? Well, you know, maybe. For scientists, you sure are, you sure can be vague sometimes, Professor. Still, I think it's a good idea. It'll be way more fun with you along. Well, there you have it. Ready to officially join our research team? No, I I'll do it on my own. I have access to the Lumina Pokemon. You don't. I'm on the team. <laughs> it's like you were born to wear it. Well, what are you waiting for? Adventure awaits. Not to rain on your parade, Rita. But it's raining. Um, but I need to get a couple more things ready first. Oh, come on. Just a little bit longer, all right? I promise it'll be worth the wait. I'll explain next time you're headed out to do some research. Oh, God. More talking. More talking. Somebody save me. Holy smokes, you're still shiny hunting that roly coley? Just hit 1100 eggs. Woo! That is redonkulous. Well, too late to turn back now. Now that you're a fully fledged team member, I have something for you that'll come in handy. An apple? As for the explanation, would you do the honors, Rita? Yes, sir! But is it just me? Or have you been getting me to do a lot more of, your, of the work lately, Professor? Yeah, because he's lazy. Oh, well, time to explain the great assistant I am. He just vanished. What the hell? He could have walked away. This is a... This is a fluff fruit. No, it's an apple. They grow here on the lentil region. They're sweet and tasty, and they make a great snack for Pokemon. They may look like regular apples. But, they're way lighter and softer. You'll probably make a Pokemon today if you toss one at th toss one of these at them. Let's get you some practice. Oh god, more tutorials. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can throw a fur fruit by pressing the B button. Can I just chuck it at their fucking head? I chucked it.
Boom! Hit that motherfucker! <laughs> I fucking bopped that Pikachu. It was just doink. That's the new. That's the new name of the game. Bop these animals in the head. Pretty easy, right? Yeah. I think that should be all you need to know. So I guess now we just have to wait until the professor gives us the green light to move on. Oh, I've got an idea. Let's have sex. I mean, you should try testing out Fluffroot. <laughs> And taking some more Pokemon photos in the meantime. The professor says there are all kinds of ways to use it. Finished explaining, I see. Thanks, Rita. Just in time. I got everything done now. Oh, wait. I've got one more thing to tell you about for now. I thought it would be handy to have a quick way to share what you see and learn in the field. Are you too familiar with Lintalk? It rings a bell, I think. It's a communication tool folks here in Lintel use. Bop it, hit it, twist it, yeah! Rita, let's say you notice something exciting in the field. You can send a photo and description over Lintalk. Or Twitter. I can use it to send things I noticed on the monitor too. That sounds super fun! Look for Lintalk. Look for Lintalk. Messages in the top right of the screen and... At the research camp and elsewhere. They ought to help you. Can you stop talking, Professor? Jesus Christ. This is worse than the regular. This is worse than sun and moon. Let's get some more night picks. We've only done the night thing once. Blop it. Hit it. Twist it. Turn it. Murder your family. What? I said do it! Yeah, skip that part. You don't want the apple, you fucking turd? I already got the sleeping booth lot. Here, let's throw an apple at it. He's like, nah, bro. <laughs> Chill out. Pokemon abuse. You don't like apples? Come on, man. Where did these? Oh, whatever sleeping on there doesn't want to come out. Whoa! Whatever that is. Oh, it's a pincer! What the heck? That was weird. Whoa. Oh, ducklet. New. All right. Ooh, that's perfectly lined up, really. None of these animals are going for the fruit. <laughs> Look at that. He's like, bruh. Really, bruh?
Alright, do you want an apple? Do I want an apple? Oh well, close enough. We got a few new Pokemon on the thing. Welcome back. Welcome back. Make any new discoveries? Maybe. Maybe, baby. Let's compare that one. Where's the where's the caterpie in this one? I don't see it. Then go that one. It's supposed to be ducklet. Hold on. Yeah, there's a two. You know, let's do that one. <laughs> Three. See, you get higher scores if you hit them in the face with the with an apple. Uh, oh, the crystal bloom. Now we'll, we'll use that one. Bop it, hit it, twist it with an apple. Alright, time to check these photos. We'll stick to that one. Okay, that's okay, I guess. Better, better score. Always take the better score. All right, new Pokemon gets a gold star. That's fine. Damn right, Torterra. Four star, baby. All right, gold star for that one. We'll need to get some better ones. All right, give me that EXP so I get level two. Dang right. Together with friends. All right, let's save some of these to our personal. Saving that one. Bop, we're going to save that one. I like this one. And that one. Um, saving this one because that was weird. You didn't let me save uh, the, the score bunny. That's weird. And that's it. Let's, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here! A region that has many islands and its own unique creatures. The island environments differ drastically, and the flowers and Pokemon in the region have been observed glowing. Oh, 
Shut up, Rita. Oh shit. This is Todd. He's a professional Pokemon photographer. His work takes him all over the world. Are you the one who caught an Illumina Pokemon on camera? Way to go. That's a big deal. Todd, did you bring what I asked you to? I sure did. You're a lifesaver. Now we'll finally be able to get set out. Is this guy a friend of yours, Professor? Obviously. I mean, I just basically said this is my old friend Todd. An old traveler companion, to be precise. He's been helping me plan our big survey of Lentil 2. No kidding. Oh, is that a new pod you got to, you put together? Reminds me of the good old days. But hey, let me see those Illumina Pokemon photos. So I'm guessing is this the same professor from the first Pokemon snap? Alright, good for you. So, you're the new teammate, huh? I'm Phil, Todd's number one student. Easy there, Phil. You suck. Um, I'm tempted to take part in this big ecological survey myself, but I have another idea. How about I send Phil with you instead? I'd rather not. I'm fine with that. If you are, Todd, I'm not fine with it. Yeah, it's awesome! You can be my stand-in for now, but don't forget, you'll need the badge to... I'll need the badge back eventually. All fine. But if I take super cool photo, I get to keep the badge. So, yeah. What's an ecological survey? Yeah, Ty, you really think it's a good idea to send this moron with us? Oh, snap. New map. This is Florio Island, our home sweet home. The circled spot right here is our camp. But this survey will take us past these shores. And this will be your first destination. Why are we starting there? I detected a spot there with high energy readings. The Neo 1 should be able to teleport to it. The island showed up in the travel log, right? It certainly did. Captain Vince wrote that he saw a glowing Pokemon there too, in fact. Come on, Arini. Let's get on surveying things start. Oh my god. Fair enough. Enjoy your first in a century adventure. Oh, first in a century adventure into the wilds of Lentil. All right, let's get her done. Florio Nature Park. Nope, we're going to Founja Jungle. Jungle in the daytime. Get ready to see some a palms and other cool stuff. Oh, bounce sweets. Whoa. <laughs> All right. No 
one's going after these these apples. That Quagsire was not having our shit. Alright, let's see. That woodpecking is getting annoying. Ooh, purloin. Oh, snap. Alright, so that means there's Pokemon to take pictures of down here. Butterfly said, what the hell, dude? Come on, you derp, do something. Okay, I think we missed out on something. Like an executor, maybe. Nothing. Oh well, it was only our first time going through. Let's go ahead and get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Get it. Wow. All right, so no, it's my first time through the jungle. All right, so we got Bounce Sweet, which is a one star. That's fine. We got Picky Peck. I'm gonna go with that one for the three star. Ooh, I'm gonna get the three star one. Lipard, we're gonna go ahead and go for the, wow, that's a two star. I'm gonna go for this one. I guess slacking, you know, not facing us, but whatever. We'll judge that one, but I doubt it's going to be a good one. We'll get this one for sure. We'll do that one, the four star. And I guess we won't. I guess, you know, yeah, we won't worry about that one. And we'll get the ancient ruins. Let's go ahead and get that going. We need to go back and get that Murkrow picture. 
Band sweets. Alright, so Bronze Star, whatever. Picky Pet gets us Bronze Star as well. Oh my god, our pictures are horrible this time. Ooh, Diamond Star, there we go. Ugh, Bronze Star. I mean, not much we could done about slacking. Maybe we throw an apple at it? A palm. Oh, gold star. Fine with me. Four star. I'm sure we'll get an, a, a better one of them jumping in. And we register the ruins. Alright. That should have gave us a lot of EXP. Almost there. You researched Vilusilva Island for the first time. I remember. By the way, if you like, I can start uploading standout photos of for you. They deserve to be seen widely. Photos I upload would be added to your collection online. On your page, they'd be marked as my favorites. You change whether you'd like me to do this by going to settings and turning auto uploads off or on. Alright, time to save some photos so I can edit later. Um, not that bounce sweet. I'm going to save this one. I'm going to save... No, I'm going to get a better picture than that. I'm going to save this beautifully. Um, no, I'm going to get a better one than that. Nope. I'm going to save that one for sure. He's like, what? Alright. We're going to go ahead and get this Apom here. One of my favorite little buddies. Oh, I'm saving this one too. Oh, you know what? This one. Not that one. That one and that one. And then Quagsire just looks so sad. He's like, oh, I gotta take a bath. I'm gonna save that. I'm gonna save the ancient ruins. Why not? Can't wait to find a Charizard. I'm gonna save that picture. Good quality. And that's it. Let's get out of here. Return to camp. A collection of Pokemon, uh, photos and other data from the survey of the Lentil region you can view anytime in the lab. Research camp, lab, photo deck. Let's do some more research. Let's try to get that Amoga photo. I feel like that's going to help us. Then we need to get some other photos too. So let's start working on filling out that photo deck. <laughs> yeah, charges. What 
Programme. Uh, yep. I already knew about the coconut. Damn. That could have went better. No! I missed it again. That's the one thing people are going to have a leg up on. Um, if you're not do using the uh, Pokemon. If you're using like the actual Switch instead of controller. Because I think just holding the Switch will help you get the uh, lineup better. Derp. Okay. Maybe that'll help. I got that one. Oh, I hope I got that one. She, she used Vine Whip to pick up the uh, apple. How was it? it was really fucking good. Alright, so Pichu... The one I have is a two star. Maybe this one will get better. I have a two star already. Try that one. Emolga. Shit. I, I was hoping to get a better shot of it. Okay, we need the two star of that anyway. We already had the one star. We already have one stars. I like this one better than the other picture I have. He looks drunk. Definitely using this one. That's the one I wanted. Alright, using that one for my two star. We don't have a two star of these yet. So I'm going to go ahead and just fill up the two star. Pavilion. Can't use those, apparently. Um. 
No, I'm just going to keep that one. Come on, Professor. Show me what you got. Time to check these photos. Yeah, we're going to keep the better one of the two. Obviously keep the diamond one. Ugh, bronze. Oh, silver. That works. Oh, yeah. Taking that one. That better be a diamond one. you damn right. Another diamond. Eh, bronze. Okay. That's fine. Let's go ahead and save some of those pictures. Oh boy, I'm actually enjoying this game a lot more than I thought I would. Um, let's see. No. I'm saving that one. He looks he looks like, Ugh, what's up, bro? Uh, nothing there, nothing there. Would you like to expand your saved data to make more room for photos? This requires approximately 204. I don't know. Sure, why not? You know what? No, let's not do that then. I guess I only have to start saving the really cool photos. Return to Cinder. Maybe I just gotta upload them and then delete them. Let's do that. Let's go ahead and take a peek at how to work that stuff. I think that's it. Let's do frame. Yeah, 
No. Not that. Do that one. Let's upload this to the net. Oh, did it not save? Did it not save? What the heck? Alright, so I guess we gotta connect to the internet first. Wish you would've told me that. Eat more chicken. Chicken will. That's a sweet one. Alright. Oops, the flash was on. I like that one. <laughs> That's your search, Steven. Oops, the flash was on. Yeah, I'm online. I guess. And then I saw your queen of flowers. It says recommended. I already did. No. Dang, look, someone's trending. This one? Yeah. <laughs> you mad, bro? Let's see if my photo, I'm going to upload my photo. Captions everything. Weedle. That's one. Didn't need to. That's the one where you picked up the apple with the vine. Yeah. I, I'm just messing around with it. I don't care. I just want it to be seen. Let's see. Let's call this one really, bro. Another one. And this one chilling. This one's just chilling. Bob it, hit it, twist it. Um, what else can we do here?
what we're gonna call this one. Pew pew! <laughs> they look like fighter jets. Pew pew! Alright, and then let's do one more. We'll do this one. We'll call it Squad Up. Squad. Squad Up. Alright, so now we know we'll just uh, delete some photos if we need to. Dang, so the, I guess these are all the uh, research titles we can earn. Woo, it's going to be hard to unlock all these. 12 pages worth. Um, I'm just gonna use, oh no, the other co crest was cooler. Man, you can edit your name at any time. That's interesting. Alright, let's do maps. Oh, okay. So I guess this trains you on, uh... Oh, shit. I guess that just trains you on, like, to remember where you found Pokemon. Okay. Let's go ahead and try to find another Lumina Pokemon. Maybe it'll just do Meganium every time, but... Let's go ahead and try it! Oh look, we did some. No, I meant to do the other thing. Shut up, Rita. Illumina spot time. Oh, there's an Eevee. Oh, yeah, elegant. What? Four star on what? Yeah, I got one of those, too. Do they not like the apple? What the hell? Evie ran away. Evie ran away. Look at that tail.
All right, let's see what we have now. What? No, not yet. All right, we're going to go ahead and knock out that three star. Um, we already have a two star meganium. Let's go ahead and get this one star going. <laughs> that one looks funny. Well, that's the two star we have. This one looks better. Let's do. Let's do this one. No, I like the meganium in the background. Let's do that. And let's go ahead and submit. Good job! A new discovery. Damn right, bedazzled. All right, guys, where should we go now? All right, scored 5,000 or more points on a photo evaluation. Woohoo! And we registered 10 normal types. Did we save any of these photos? Probably this one. Um, I like this one. And that's it. Bop it. Did it. Twist it. Bump it. Bigger, nicer, faster, stronger. Oh, look. Some more. Newbie poster. You got one sweet online. Woohoo! You received the research title newbie poster. Alright, well, time to go and do more research. Let's do more daytime jungle stuff. All right, let's see. Out of the way. Yeah. I'm trying to get some slacking. Slacking. Dang it. He didn't want to turn around. Oh, uh -huh. where are the Pokemon at? I already got plenty of you. Oh, there we go.
Damn. There we go. Work it, work it. There we go. Ha <laughs> Every day I'm shuffling. Damn, I missed it yelling at me. Well, if you can't tell yet, Apple pissed some of these animals off. Crikey! We made it all the way to the jungle. That library didn't have our shit. No. Oh, come on. No. I didn't get any good pictures. I got some good pictures. The Neo one is all set to return. I didn't want to return. I wanted to take more pictures. Ugh. Eight Pokemon photographed, so at least we get our Arbuck in. Okay, so we already have a three star picky pick. Let's get the one star. We already got the two stars, so let's get the one star. And same exact photo. We'll go ahead and do this one. No, you know what? Actually, let's do this one. Nope, actually. <laughs> this one. Why not? Let me get the one where he yelled at us. There we go. Lipard. We only have a one star, so I ain't working. 
I ain't worried about that. Alright, Quagsire. That should be good. I'm gonna go with that one. And then, yep, that's it. Oh, Bounce Sweet. Oh, great. Like I said, it's already. Oh, whatever. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's go get it, get it. No Pokemon. Pokemon Snap. Not a bronze. Finally, a silver one. That should be diamond right there. Gold only? Come on, man. Damn right, diamond star. I guess the more times you go through a level, the better pictures you'll end up getting. By the way, thanks to the progress you've made in your research, I've got something to report. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna start, um, we're gonna start, uh, doing a little bit more story now. Pay attention to the direction you're facing when you take your photo. It has a special background. Looks like you're finding your feet on the new island. What? Yeah. It's about time I give you your next task. Oh, what is it? What is it? I'd like you to visit the jungle during the night and photograph a crystal bloom glowing in the dark. What's crystal bloom? It's a type of flower that can give off light. Do you remember seeing any odd flowers out there? Yep. Oh, yeah, I did. Red ones. That's probably the type we're after. If you see one light up at night, it's in what we call the Illumina state. Do we need to know anything special if we find one? Not particularly. Just take a picture. Your camera can analyze it for you. That should be all you need to know for now. Enjoy the nighttime jungle. All right, let's get it, fellas. Let's get it. Jungle night time. It's my favorite time to take pictures. All right, so much to do, so much to see. Morlo. I didn't see no Morlo. There we go. Damn it. Lydian.
There's more low. That one's cool. I'm not seeing anything. Oh no, what was that? What was that? What was that? Fuck. That's probably too cannon. I could have got a cool picture of that. Okay, um, that's pretty much all we're going to get from there. Whoa, I killed it! I killed the mortal. Look. <laughs> That's hilarious. Right? That Morlo was the yod. You fainted. He only had one HP left. And I hit him with an apple. Alright, we got some cool ones of Yan Mega. Let's do that one. I like this one. That one. Let's do this one. Yeah, definitely a KO, dude. That was wild. Quagsire. Got a Illumina Pokemon there. Gonna do that one. How is that a three star photo? that one 
Ancient Ruin. Hopefully it's like a second one. Eddie, welcome back, brother. We have just been taking some pictures. I I think I killed a Morlo by throwing an apple at it. Uh, still yet to be determined. <laughs> but uh, so far, so good. Wow. I guess there's just no good way to take a picture of Lipard. Oh, okay. I think that was just a silver star. Only a gold? Dude, I got four four of them in one. Oh. Look at that Lydian, though. Only gold? Come on, man. That was perfect. That was a perfect photo. Give me your bullshit. Okay. I, mean, I just took it because it was nighttime, but I guess it doesn't add to the thing. A little space in a way. All right. Um. Oh, look, we got a bug sticker, and we got a crystal bloom red sticker. By the way, now that we got the crystal bloom info, I've got some to report. I hope you're excited. I don't care. A verdant island, lush with dense vegetation that is kept nourished by abundant water. And a warm climate. The Pokemon that live among this bountiful greenery have everything they could possibly need. Yep. Great job! Your photos gave us plenty of data to work with. Why is why is your data relying on my back? Like, can someone else do some heavy lifting? Now I've got something to show you. Take a look. Oh, those orb thingies! You've got to be working on, Professor. Didn't you say they could make Pokemon and Crystal Blooms glow? Exactly. I call them Illumina Orbs. Unfortunately, Blue Illumina Orbs only work here on Florio Island. What? How come? Shut up, bitch. I suspect it's because different areas of Lintel have distinct types of energy flowing through them. But for now, want to see the fruit of your research in action? Sure. Watch this. This man created energy. Nice. That was awesome. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Wow, Lentil's very own light show. What did you call it again? The Illumina Phenomenon? It's interesting how it can occur in both Pokemon and plants. You can use these orbs to send Pokemon and Crystal Blooms into the Illumina state for a little while. When you do that... Watch for their change. Watch for changes in their surroundings. Can we have some of the orbs to work on, Florio? Of course you can. We're gonna have to try these back at the nature park. <laughs> okay. You obtain Illumina orbs for Florio Island. You obtain Illumina orbs for Belusilvia Island. You obtain. Okay, so I got the icons now all right cool let's go ahead and throw some orbs at these mothers at these motherfuckers oh i guess it doesn't work during the day huh oops hype 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 i love it i love seeing the hype I just realized Justin using those Z-Bucks to good use, huh? Um, let's see here. Z-Bucks is, uh, what am, I, what am I doing? Oh, well.
beautiful Buffalon. Absolutely. Whoa, he did a backflip. Yeah, I know. I took pictures of these damn coconuts already. Ah, oh, great. They made me miss my Molga picture. I have one, but it's not good enough. Fuck you, Swana. Alright, I'm gonna try to get a better magic card photo too. Um Shut up. Damn it. Um, yeah, you do have unlimited apples. You don't have unlimited pictures, though. Yeah, right? That's what I was about to say. She was stroking that flower. She had to get them uh, pistols going. Ow. Welcome back. Mind choosing photos for me? Yeah, I do mind, Professor. You're the smart one here. I think you know everything. <laughs> yeah, 75 page limit. Oh, look at that horrible picture of a Molga that I have. Oh, well, look at that one. See, there's the picture of her jacking off the flower. Alright, Swana. 
on. Go ahead and get that. Oh, you know what? They gave me a compliment on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and submit that. I'm going to submit that one. Elegant. Yep, that one. And submit that one. Comfy. Do that one. Alright, we got new pictures for all of them. Let's see if they rank better. Eh, that one ranked a lot better. Rank up again, baby. Let's go. Whatever. Perfect timing. Only a gold? Our first one that's gold only. Yeah, might as well keep that one at that point. Yeah, almost as good. No, that's a gold one, I guess. Should have been diamond. That one's gonna be diamond. Fuck. Oh, what? Come on. That's diamond. Oh my goodness. This game is so bipolar with its scoring. Do that one. How am I supposed to get better pictures? Uh, level 2 still. I meant to do the night one anyway, because I want to throw those orbs. You can make all, any Pokemon Illumina. Yeah, it's bronze, silver, gold, and then diamond. Alright, Park Knight. Let's get it, girl. Skip. Come on, man. We got Pokemon to... Ooh, a Tangro. Vocket, Vocket, Vocket. Yeah. Man, nothing wanted to come out that time. Oh. 
Whoa. Whoa, we went a different way. No, we went in the water this time. Oh yeah. There we go. I'm streaming here. <laughs> yep. Hello world. Is that seriously how carp sleeps outside of the water? <laughs> right? I have no idea. That's weird though. Magic carp sleeping on a rock. You would think you just sleep inside the water. It is a water type after all and a fish. Where do you think you're going, woman? You seem at home on this course now. Go ahead and choose some photos for me. Um. Let's go ahead and see if... This one is a silver. I'm gonna try this one. Hopefully this one's better since it's glowing. I'm gonna use this one. Mercro. That one. Cortera. I don't have a two star yet, so I'm going to use this one. I'm going to use that one. Magic Carp. Magic Carp sleeping. Let's go with that one. <laughs> That's fucking ridiculous. Um, yeah, you could choose different places at this time already. I I just been doing this because uh, I wanted to try to get the uh, I wanted to see how it looked at night with the luminous orbs. I mean, it's not that different, so. I'm going to go that one. It's more centered. And that's what they like. Alright. Bidoof pose. Less? How is that less? That's stupid. Yeah, we're going to stick with the first one. Those are already gold. I didn't, I didn't think about that. Damn right, a new discovery. Tangrowth. 
Diamond. And a badass picture at the same time. Give me that. Diamond. That one was a horrible picture and I got diamond. Interesting. I guess because he's glowing it gives it bonus point. Oh, there's another score bunny. Score bunny is hard to take a picture of. It's so quick. Diamond! Oh wait, no, it's silver. What? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, diamond. <clears throat> and diamond again. Hell yeah, we getting some good pictures now. We on a roll, baby. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Camera fan, lake. Saving this one. And saving this one if we can. <clears throat> Return to camp. Um, so far, we've reached the second area, which is the jungle area. Uh, we were able to go day and night. And we did get some orbs. Uh, sorry, let me, let me do this real quick. Your space, album. Alright, time to delete a few pictures that are less necessary. No, I like that one. Uh, I already uploaded that so I can delete it. I like that one. He just looks fucking annoyed. Like, really, dude? That's cool. I haven't found that one. Uh, let's see. Get rid of those. Getting rid of a bunch of these, honestly. Not this one, though. I like that one. Alright, delete. Research titles. No, that's nothing. Oh, look, my top shot is the Meganium one, and then I've gotten a lot of medals on. The Arbok. Are we trending? I know we're not trending on Twitch because there's too many girls in bikinis, but are we at least trending here on Pokemon Snap? Oh, that one's cool. Silence. Birthday pool party. <laughs> what a fucking loser. Alright, Dano! He has chow time. So, I like the one you had. Alright, let's see here. Uh, I guess you gotta go through them all. I don't like having notifications on my stuff. <laughs> Wait, girls in bikinis? Uh, I'll be right back. No, Eddie. You've already abandoned me once. Don't do it again. I'm just kidding. Um, Let's go ahead and... Oh, shit. What's this? 
Objects of interest. Well, obviously. Get rid of all those notifications. Twice, but who's counting? <laughs> You're like, oh yeah, my wife's calling, uh, give me a minute, and then, oh yeah, girls in bikinis, that's what I was actually doing. So, I don't know if we have to go through these individually. Oh, we do. Can I get a Hanya? Oh, speaking of that, guys, for a thousand bits, you can unlock that uh, new emoji I have. It's amazing. Trust me. Oh, you gotta actually. That's annoying. All right, well, let's go ahead and continue on. Let me see here. My Hanya! That's my uh, new emoji you can get for, I think, a thousand bits. I love it. It has a... Uh, it has that Pokemon chat <laughs> What? Alright, jungle day again. Let's go jungle night and throw some orbs. Maybe we'll get some more Pokemon we didn't know existed. Come on, Justin. It's a Hunya. H U N. Yeah. Whoa, bounce sweet. They don't want to roar. They just run away. Wow. Oh, it gave off sleep powder. And one of them fell asleep. <laughs> See, look. He gone. He out. What else is there? I don't like the jungle. There's too much uh, branches in the way.
damn it, I missed him. Don't say guards. It looks like Zygarde with the with the whole thing over here. Oh, look at that accuracy, though. What? Really? Shut up. Eat the apple. Eat the apple. Whatever. Stupid leopard. Whooper. Fuck it, the baby. Fuck it. Oh, I should have got that. Shut up, Professor. It's not time. Never time. Jump, Magic Heart. Jump. Endless apples. Endless apples. Buckets, baby. Buckets. All right, time to go. Oh, there's a Goldeen in the stream? Oh, I gotta, I gotta make sure I pay attention to that next time then. Yeah, nope. At night? Oh, well we're at night right now. But we're in the jungle, I don't know if it's the same everywhere. Let's do this one. I like that one. Let in. <laughs> Maybe the glow will give it something better. He said something whenever I took that picture, so let's do that. Let's go there. Now. Let's do it to it! Time to check. There we go. Finally a gold. A gold picture for Lipert over here. Yeah, that one's still better. A new discovery. Gold only? Come on, man. There we go. Diamond. See, all you gotta do is watch it glow. It was better.
Yeah, <laughs> just sleeping on the rock is cooler. Whooper! Bronze? Come on. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the diamond one. At night! All right, another fine round of cert research. Let's go ahead and return to camp. I bet Illumina Orbs will help us find new stuff to research on the, on the course we visited. Where are we going? Why don't we take a bunch of photos and surprise the professor with them? I just did that! So when you're about to cross over the bridge, that's when the Goldeen shows up. Okay. I'll certainly look at it. Huh? What? What's this one? Jungle Knight? So far, nothing. It's an area dose. I already know what it is. Why is it showing up as unknown? Damn it. Not what I wanted. Okay, so. No, come here, area dose. Okay, I like that one. Like it, like it. I don't see Goldine. No. No, where are you at? No! Frick. Okay, nothing yet. Here's the bridge. I don't see a Goldeen. See magic cards though. Mm-hmm. 
Okay, well. Try to get a better picture of this whooper now. It's all good, man. At least I know now to look for look out for a, a goldeen. Alright, now we're going to wait for him to jump in the water. Oh, well. Whew, I don't like the jungle. Yeah, I don't care for it. Everything's like too close. Apparently it's on the other map. All right, Lifebird. Finally, a two star. Got them shooting out spores. That's another one. There's that one. Oh, yeah, it's a good one. Where's the one where he jumps in the water? Aw, oh, man. I took another one. Don't BS me, game. Wow. That's ass. Yeah, where's my two-star one? They, all these are one star. Oh, there we go. Give me that two star. I think that one's already a diamond. I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, I'll try it, but I doubt it's going to equal. I doubt it'll be better. Alright, let's see if we can progress now after this. Oh, yeah. Hey, we're filling out the deck. That's all that matters. Would like to get the diamond star, but you know, apparently he's being real picky about it. <laughs> Plus, now that it's level two, we'll probably get better stuff. All right. I think he said we have some more stuff to do now. Oh, change controller settings by. Oh, Jesus. What the fuck was that?
Oh, dope. I unlocked the other island. We got new islands to explore now. I pinpointed two teleportation points we could use. Oh, where? One on... One on this long, narrow island, and another offshore in the middle of the water. Captain Vince never got to spot offshore, did he? This is going to be amazing. I'll let you decide what order you want to visit them in. Keep up the good work. What happened? Combi are very devoted to Vespa Quinn. If you observe them closely, you'll see that these Pokemon do more than just gather nectar. Okay. <laughs> they have Tangrowth with the thing. What's happening? Oh, that's better than my picture. That's definitely better than mine. What's happening? Oh, I ain't got time for all that. Nope. All right, let's research. How's it going? Enjoy your research, John? Listen, I've got to tell you something. There's a feature I originally forgot to suggest to the professor, but I got him to add it to your research camera. What kind of feature? It's a melody player. It lets your camera play a little tune. Mm -hmm. A little music can prompt Pokemon to show you a whole new side of themselves. Sounds awesome. Rita, could you fill in the uh, fill in the details? Sure thing. If you press R, a melody will play. Why, please? Uh, if you press R again to make it stop. A little music can wake up sleeping Pokemon. Or make some Pokemon get up and dance. I haven't had a chance to try it, though I'm so I'm no expert yet. So next, let's give it a whirl. Okay. So now we can make Pokemon dance. Dance, fucker, dance! Though you never had a chance. Do -do 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 -do. New areas unlocked. Let's go to the Fonja jungle. I mean, uh, let's go to the Vulcan. Sweltering sands first. Let me see that Charizard. Why isn't Charizard around? And just so you know, guys, I will be uploading these videos on YouTube in 30 minute increments. So that'll be a fun little thing for y'all to do if y'all want to catch up and miss and catch up on something y'all missed. Whoa. Is that a Heliolus? There we go. Yeah, there's a whooper. All right, now we're stuck between the tornadoes. What Pokemon are we supposed to be finding? We gotta see the way. Shit. Whoa. That is awesome. 
There's an oasis. Right. Oh, 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 the hippo Pokemon. I love it. Whoa, Heliolisk is laying down like a real lizard would. Desert Pavilion. All right, that was new and exciting. Torchic is there. We got some pretty good pictures too. Looks like you made lots of new discoveries. May I see your favorite photos? Damn right. Um, let's do, let's do that one. We took a lot of these. Do that one. Get a good score with this one, I think. Either of those would work. Oh, I didn't get Torchic as the main person. That's dumb. Do that one. I mean, Torchic makes sense because uh, that's the uh, you know little birds sit on uh, hippos in the real world, and that's weird though that Hippodon's in the water. Doesn't it say like it likes to be on in it bathes in the sand or something like that? But that oasis thing was pretty dope. A new discovery, no shit. Check 
Kekniya. Kekniya. Wow. He's giving us really bad grades. All bronze. What the heck? That better be diamond. Wow. Wow. That's a yikes. I'm gonna slap this professor. We almost got straight to level two. Desert research. Return to camp. <laughs> Let's keep on trucking. Let's try the... Let's try the Maricopia. Beach day? Yeah. And then we'll go back to the desert, try to finish off to level two. And then if there's a night time, we'll do that first. Ooh. the heck
Dang it, I only got three pictures left. Yeah. No! He was balancing the apple on his beak. Well, I'm trying to collect all the stars and all the Pokemon at the same time. But mostly all the Pokemon. You okay? What happened? Dang. Why those Blossom run away? Just let's go with that one. That one. I think that one works. <laughs> Struck a pose. And of course, Pikachu. Go ahead and use that one. Yeah, Octillery looked like he was done with life. He was like, you know what? Just get the fuck out of my face. Get out of here! I'm an octopus for God's sakes. Really? Couldn't have gave me the diamond on that? He's dancing, fool. I don't understand his judging. There you go. Wow, that's horrible. Well, I mean, that one was supposed to be. Well, mid run doesn't count for anything, I guess. This is not gonna be good. This one should be really good. Right? They're just always up. That must hurt. And if I notice there's two different routes you could take on the beach one. Look at that. He was like Zen mode right there. Bruh, gold? Come on now. This game's stupid. He was in the middle of attacking. How is that not better? Dang, straight to level two. Beach day was a success. Dang, we got a lot of stuff now. I'm saving the... I'm saving... I'm definitely saving this one. Where's the crab brawler dancing? Saving this one. Where 
Where's where's Crab Brawler dancing? Come on, man. That's dumb. What happened to my Crab Brawler? That's why no one likes you, game. Alright, return. Everybody return! Your research on the beach has come a long way. It seems like you're about ready to move on to the offshore area. The Neo-1 can travel over a reef just as well as over a river, after all. Let's get ready for some reef search. <laughs> get it? Shut up, Professor. Alright, well now we're going to be going off beach. We'll be going to the uh, actual reefs. Wonder what we'll catch there. But let's go ahead and go back to the sweltering sands and try to get to level two. Maybe there's something we missed. What does it help us with? I guess apples don't work here. Yes! Whoa! That is awesome.
Okay, so he runs right there. I know, man. You can't use the apples on this thing. Alright, so let's hope we got some better pictures now. <laughs> I barely caught him flying through the air. Go with that one. I like this one. <laughs> Let's try that one. I doubt it though. Action shot. Why wasn't why won't it let us use the picture? So dumb. Oh, it's not illuminating. That's dumb. Okay, whatever. All right. Well, just so y'all know, as soon as my food is ready, um, I will be taking a break. And I will be eating. So I'll be, uh, I'm also going to do some other stuff too. So I'll be like an hour or two before I get back to streaming. So just, just know that I will be taking a break. But we'll certainly be coming back to some more Pokemon. Oh yeah! Told you that was better. Woohoo! Another diamond. I'll take it. Oh, that one's not as good, but I'll take it. I'm gonna use this one. I was two points away from diamond? That's bullshit. Two points away. Literally two points. Whatever. Trash. This game is trash. It's gonna give me two fucking measly points. Alright. Well, we're at least at level two now, so hopefully we'll get night time. And then we can go ahead and go try the reef out real quick. Oh, pre snap. Oh, what's happening? Looks like you've gotten some great research done in the desert. I suppose it's time to take the next step and have you go there at night. Once you photograph the Illumina phenomenon in action, I can make Illumina orbs for that island. Okay, I see you. Striking a pose with its tail. Alright. Well guys, I'm actually going to take my break now. 
So I will be back later. So stay tuned for more Pokemon Snap.